Law enforcement putting together the pieces after a gunman entered a hospital and killed his doctor in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Three other people as well were killed. It is the latest of a series of mass shootings that happened across America and has left yet another community shaken and torn. Retired Tulsa Chief of Police Chuck Jordan is joining us live tonight. Police uh, from the get-go in this latest shooting uh, were applauded for their quick action, but this was not worse. The gunman took his own life. Chief, we appreciate your time tonight. Uh, I want to begin with the president's comments on gun violence and these mass shootings. And as a member of law enforcement, I'm curious, uh, your thoughts on some of the proposals that the president is putting forth, because um, like everybody else, law enforcement wants to see this stopped as well. We certainly do. Uh, you know, I, I think we have to, we need to have a very strong emphasis on mental health. Um, mental health is affecting our society in almost every, every place we go, whether it's homelessness, whether it's violence, whether it's mass shootings. Um, we're not dealing with that effectively. Uh, as far as, as firearms and guns, um, one of the first one of the first mass shootings we had in Oklahoma was in Edmond, and uh, a man by the name of Patrick Sherrill killed 14, 22 people, sorry, 20 people, uh, with handguns. Uh, you know, I, we're not going to stop it completely just by getting rid of assault-type weapons. That's not the only answer. Uh, the president also made a point, Chief, uh, to reach out to responsible gun owners, of which there are millions across the country. I want to play uh, just a portion of what he said and then get your thoughts on it. For so many of you at home, I want to be very clear. This is not about taking away anyone's guns. It's about not about vilifying gun, on gun owners. In fact, we believe we should be treating responsible gun owners as an example of how every gun owner should behave. Chief, are you optimistic that that, that approach, reaching out to gun owners um, to try to really get at the heart of where a lot of the disagreement and, and, and turmoil has been around this argument, uh, will result in changes? I hope so. You know, it, it's been very politicized. Uh, I'm a very strong Second Amendment man. Uh, I believe in, in the, the right to gun ownership. By the same token, I also see some of the things that are going on in the country, some of the problems we're having in our country because of, of some people having guns. So uh, I think it's about who's, who owns the guns, not the guns. Chief, your community is hurting tonight after this latest mass shooting, four dead. Um, how are you doing, and what do you want people at home to know about a Tulsa and the police response in this latest attack? We've been training for this for decades. Uh, you know, I, I've never known a Tulsa police officer that didn't say I would rush inside and take care of the, the situation. Um, and that's exactly what they did. I couldn't be prouder to have been a member of that police department. Uh, the people who appear in this hill, St. Francis Hospital and this campus, have been our heroes for the last two years during this pandemic. And uh, I can't think of anybody that we wanted less to be a victim. We'll leave it there. Retired Tulsa Police Chief Chuck Jordan, thank you so much for your time and our thoughts are with you and all those in Tulsa tonight. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.